All right, in this problem here, this is going to be kind of a semi-application problem. Um, we're going to be uh, looking at y is equal to x squared plus 1, and we're going to be wanting to find dy over dt, but at these particular specified values, when x is equal to negative 1, right, we'll have a unique dy dt. When x is equal to 0, then we're going to find dy dt, and when x is equal to 1, we're going to find dy dt. And dx over dt is staying constant here and this time I'm going to attach some units this is two centimeters per second okay so this we're going to have a point that's traveling along this graph and of course the best thing to do is actually take a look at the graph so uh, I should note here that uh, I plugged this into uh, the address bar in the Google search on Google Chrome and I got this graph to come up this is Google's actual graph um, graphing utility. Anyway, so here's the point, and this is actually nice to look at because we're talking about a point that's moving along the graph, and what we're going to be given is we're going to be given the rate at which we're traveling just in the x direction. So if you look at my cursor here, on, I'm, I'm on the number line, this is in the uh, dx over dt. That's going to be our rate, but we're traveling just in the x direction, so we're traveling uh, just horizontally, okay, that the rate I'm going to be giving you. And what we're going to be finding is is the rate of which we're traveling just in the y direction, okay. So, I don't know, does that make any sense to you? Let, let's, uh, let, let's, let's look at the math. So the math is going to be easy to follow, maybe understand what's going actually going on about this point traveling along the graph might be just a little bit more difficult to try to figure out what's going on with that but what I want to do is I'm going to find dy over dt when x is equal to negative 1 okay so I'm going to go ahead and find dy over dt and that's easy enough because derivative y is 1 then we write dy over dt derivative of x squared is 2x and then I'm going to write dx over dt next to it. And of course the derivative of 1 is 0. So this is what we're going to be uh, working with right here. So when x is equal to negative 1, what is y, dy over dt? Now this stays a constant here. So let's look at this. We have 2 times negative 1. And dx over dt is 2. And so this is going to end up being, uh, what do we got here, negative 4. So dy over dt, so this rate is decreasing. So dy over dt is equal to negative 4. Now let's just go ahead and plug in the rest of these values here and talk about what's going on after the fact dy over dt is going to be equal to now we're plugging 0 in and of course if you were to plug 0 into this you would just get 0 out right so that means that dy over dt is 0 right and one more d let's just go ahead and write it here dy over dt is equal to 2 times 1 times 2 and that's a positive 4 right here positive 4 so the rate is positive and we could say actually that it's increasing here and decreasing here because this is negative the rate is decreasing then it's going to 0 and then it's uh, increasing let's see if I can attempt to actually draw this graph here It's hard to write on these tablets. Um, this is actually a bamboo tablet. It's uh, connected into my USB port on my laptop. Okay, so the uh, let's see that graph looks something like this. Okay. Anyway. Okay. And we were looking at uh, 0. And we'll say that this is 1. And we'll say this is negative 1 here. 